Welcome everyone to another one of my blended tutorials. <clears throat> and what I'm going to show you how to do today, I'm going to show you how to model a banana in Blender. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do the texture painting on it. And I watched a previous tutorial, by, I can't remember the guy's name. But he kind of uh, straightened me out on texture painting and it's uh, quite easy to do. So we're going to start here. We've got this uh, particular scene here. I'm going to get this camera situated. <clears throat> first off so we can uh, have a look straight at our object and uh, set X to 0, Y to 0 then I do Alt R direct to set the camera view and then I rotate X 90 degrees <clears throat> we're going to go to the top view uh, this light we're going to this light uh, point light right here I'm going to pull it back and uh, we're going to zoom in here a little bit. We're going <coughs> to add a path right here. Shift A. Go to Curve. I'm going to add a path. And then we're going to do that. Uh, get it out of editor mode. We're going to add another object here. And what's important here, if you ever looked at a banana, if you notice uh, all bananas have five sides, you can uh, go check it out the next time we get to the grocery store. Uh, like flower petals and such, uh, bananas just have five sides. So we're going to add a, a mesh circle. And before we uh, exit the edit mode, we're going to set our vertices to five. Like so. Hit enter. And now we're going to convert this uh, five sided mesh to a curve. And we're going to drag it right about here. Let's see where I put my nerves path. Okay, the nerves path right here. So you want to click on the nerves path and go under the curve uh, options here and say bevel with the circle. And what you'll wind up with is just like a five uh, uh, pentagon tube or solid, like so. So uh, we want to edit that a little bit while it's still in the top view. And since it's still a curve object, you can just hit tab and we're going to curve it a little bit. I'm going to grab one of these vertices here and uh, move them around a little bit, right? <coughs> like so. And now, this is kind of, this is what I did next. I added a Bezier curve right underneath here. And now, <coughs> We're going to go up this curve, which we haven't converted to a mesh yet. And we're going to use the uh, basis curve as a taper object. And so now, we can come in here and edit this curve. And sort of uh, clean up our shape here. To get our banana shape. I do like so. And <coughs> we're going to kind of get it by like so. Kind of keep it simple here. Make it fat there. So now we're just going to go ahead and before we convert this, we're going to render it up a little higher. <coughs> Say 8 to make it nice and smooth. Now I uh, got this and I'll Alt C and I convert this to a mesh. And now we can edit this mesh. And uh, here. We're going to turn on our proportional editing. And we're going to select this first ring out here. And we're going to extrude it. And then size it a little bit. <coughs> we've got our proportional editing on. And uh, maybe back one more extrusion there. And maybe decrease this circle down a little bit. You know, using your scroll wheel. And scale it down a bit. And so maybe we'll add another loop. We can go control R here and add some additional loops. And control R again, go down here and add one. And now we can uh, <coughs> rotate it around a little bit. And we'll select this. Oh, get out of this mode. We'll select this loop here. And we'll have our proportional editing on. Oh, too much. And 
<clears throat> maybe to crease the circle just a little bit like so we want to get kind of the end of the banana the stem and so we're going to call it good for now and then we're going to select this loop here alt left uh, right click hit F for face to seal that off <clears throat> A to get deselect and then here we're going to maybe um, select this ring here and scale it down a little bit maybe extrude one more loop here <clears throat> and scale it down maybe proportional editing and then head F to uh, close that face off okay so we've got pretty much got our basic shape here I'm not going to uh, fuss with it too much you know you don't want to cap I don't want to increase the mesh count too much real quick but I'm going to prep it for uh, texture painting and while we're at it we'll just get rid of these objects we don't need them anymore since we've already converted this to a mesh and I'm going to zoom in here I'm going to go back into edit mode and I'm going to set it up for <coughs> texture painting and you alt and you uh, right click and then shift oops let me go out of here we're going to go to edge mode and we'll select edges and you alt um, right click and shift alt right click shift alt right click we want to select these uh, <coughs> length by seams here then we're going to go to control, control E and we're going to mark seam. And uh, <clears throat> we'll keep it real simple. I did earlier mark the uh, the uh, these vertical seams, but you really don't need to do it at this point. We just want to kind of so it'll separate cleanly in the uh, UV editor. So we got our basic shape there. And uh, <clears throat> We'll go over to, we'll go ahead and hit it in edit mode. And we'll select the uh, UV editing. And I have been using the, uh, under the, when the UV, I've been using the smart UV project. Just at the default setting. So you can see where I marked the seams, it cuts out the parts of the banana really, really well. And uh, we'll hit A. And we'll scale this down a little bit and make sure everything fits inside. And so we've got a UV map, and what you want to do here, and we're going to get ready to do the, do the paint. You want to select new, and we'll call this banana. Call it banana texture. And then hit OK. All right. So now we're going to go back to our default. And this is what, um, I had to watch a video a couple times, but this is what I did, missed on this, on this idea. What we do <clears throat> I guess you can go ahead and edit mode for the time being. Uh, when you select your material, you want to come over here. You just go ahead and select the diffuse for now. And you go to image texture. And then over here, and you'll see what you saved earlier in the UV editor, the banana texture is there. So, that's what, um, that's what threw me off at first. But we'll check this in the node editor real quick. And make sure that our... Um, <clears throat> everything all our nodes are attached correctly so yeah we got the diffuse and we got this uh, banana texture so we're going to close this for now and now what you can do let's go down to texture edit and since that was a black map and we got no color on it I just start with a yellow color we go to texture paint and just we'll just paint the whole thing yellow I mean, uh, this makes it pretty simple. I guess you could just apply the material. But I'm going to show you with texture pairing what the advantage is. And uh, <clears throat> we'll set the strength all the way up. I don't know if they have a fill mode, but uh, I'm just going to paint this whole thing yellow for now. Now, why, why I thought the texture painting is a lot easier, because if you go outside... And you save your UV map and bring it into Photoshop. Sometimes it can be kind of, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, it seems like it's a little more tedious. So this is easier. Just go ahead and put the color straight on the banana. And uh, 
just kind of rough it out really good. I guess you could spend a lot of time working on this. But I'm just going to give you the real basic technique to get your banana and get it started. From there you can subdivide it more and you can make a real complicated mo node map and add your use crazy bump to make uh, your bump and your specular and all those other good things. But uh, <clears throat> I just want to show you a basic technique and uh, I'm going to go in here and we're going to zoom in on the stem here. And I'm just going to use this default draw brush. And uh, <clears throat> you can also hit A over here and select your stroke method. I'm going to select airbrush. Oh, it's not making my color. Oh, okay. And now I had it on uh, white. So I'm going to get a nice brown here. And just kind of color the stem here. And we'll rotate it around. Now this is uh, just another way to do it. <clears throat> uh, the UV mapping, depending on your amount of patience. And I guess, you know, once you get your uh, texture paint on there, you could go ahead and export the map and uh, bring it into Photoshop and, you know, and maybe do a few more things you can't do in texture paint, which I noticed that it gets kind of... Uh, blocky here but they got a smear function for that and you can uh, remedy that by kind of smearing this but this will get this will get you jump started toward uh, you know if you want to take it further and go into Photoshop you'll have your basic uh, colors laid out now for me you know I mean just make a banana I mean uh, just to show you guys how I found out the easy way to do it well, here you go. So, we'll work on this other end here. And we'll uh, <clears throat> go to our brush here. And we'll make this kind of more of a darker color. Uh, I don't know exactly how to do the masking yet. But that might be a handy thing to know how to do. And uh, I notice you can't do undo in texture paint. If you go Control Z, it won't back up. <laughs> so that's maybe a little annoying. And we'll uh, <clears throat> smear this a little bit. The, but the reason I wanted to learn how to do this because uh, you notice along the uh, the edges of the banana, that's where the color tends to be. The orange, the brown, or the or it gets a little bit bruised you can uh, do it straight here and maybe uh, <clears throat> the bracket keys here like in Photoshop there you go, decrease the size of the brush maybe you want to dial the strength down a little bit just pick a uh, edge maybe do that one a little bit <clears throat> a little bit here you don't have to be exact you can uh, you can sit here and just draw on it, paint on it. <clears throat> and then we'll go to our smear. Smear that a little bit. Get the strength up here. And like I say, you can uh, get started here and then take it over to Photoshop and maybe uh, use the airbrush or get the dots and photo paint or Photoshop. <laughs> And uh, maybe put some black spots on it. But you can also do all this here too. So this is how you get your basic uh, banana started. Yeah. And uh, this is, you know, I haven't divided this. So we only got uh, 262 faces. So this is a very low poly. Uh, it would be very easy to animate. Very lightweight. Now maybe you could take it and make a particle system out of it. And have a... Some kind of animation where you're raining bananas. Or maybe have it orbiting around some text uh, for a video pre-roll or something really crazy. Uh, make a globe and have the banana orbiting the world. You know, just really, you know, whatever you want to do with it. And we'll make this brush a little bit bigger here. Smear this out. Maybe uh, soften it up a bit. Like so. Soften these up. 
But uh, once I learned that technique to uh, get right onto the texture paint, I said, now this is really co a cool here. And, <coughs> <coughs> of course, I knew to mark the seams so it would split up in the panels. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, so we're going to add a little green to this. I think you get bananas sometimes in the store and a little bit green, so we'll throw a little green in here. We'll uh, keep the strength kind of low. Just kind of dot it here and there. Add some there. Then you can go back in here with your smear brush. Maybe blend it with this uh, brown here a little bit. <coughs> and uh, blend this in. And then if you want to add your black uh, specks on here, which probably be easier to do in Photoshop, but uh, <coughs> you can uh, take your regular draw brush. And I think it will go to uh, dots. And set the jitter up a little bit. We'll go to a black color here. And uh, we'll just kind of like that. Maybe make it a little smaller. And I wish I, wish I could go control Z on this. You can't go, you can't go back. So uh, let me add the strength up here a little bit. There you go. <coughs> and uh, maybe go back and soften that a little bit. The bracket keys, you can uh, decrease and increase the texture size paintbrush so uh, anyway that's uh, that's about it I mean except for doing a little render here real quick I really haven't got a little light in there so we'll see <coughs> we'll hit F12 real quick and yeah but there's your banana anyway so uh, thanks for watching my tutorial here and uh, if you leave any comments and uh, please subscribe so we'll see you later, and I'm out of here.